everybody out there in YouTube land. Grandpa Joe here with another collection video. Today's video I'm going to start a new series which is going to encompass these three binders here. One of This one here is my Hall of Fame Futures. People who I feel should be in the Hall of Fame and or you know people like Derek Jeter who will be getting in and people like Mark McGuire and Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds, some of those players that they don't deem need to be in the Hall of Fame because of whatever, the steroid era. However, you know, of course, I think they belong. Some of them are the best, some of the best players before PEDs that there, that there were. This binder is all of the Hall of Famers from that were inducted from 2000 up until now. This binder here is all the Hall of Famers from before that, from, nine, from 30, 1936 to 1999. That's where I'm going to start today. Uh, so many pages of cards that I'm going to break it up into a couple of videos. I'm going to do the first section tonight starting at the 1936 inaugural class. Hold on just a minute while I get her set up. Okay, we're going to start here with the class of 1936, the inaugural five, which included Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Honus Wagner, Christy Mathewson, and Walter Johnson. Each section, each for each year, I have it tabbed with the year, and on the covers page, I. I wrote down which ballot it was that they were that they got inducted in, as well as the percent of the vote. Here we have Ty Cobb cards. Sorry about that. I was trying to get something to kind of put behind that way. Don't see the next player doesn't need to be seen. It makes it easier to see these cards. Ty Cobb cards I have are, are current cards, more current than not definitely not went back when his playing days. Uh, I got a couple 2019s and a 2002. Is that right? I don't know. Can't read that right now. Those are the Ty Cobb cards. I've got three of those. The next one would be Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, I do have a plain era card. The rest of them are all, so we got that one's the 80s, I believe. Newer, some newer ones. Ni early 90s, I think, and 80s, 70s, 80s, late 70s, early 80s. And on the back side of that one, I've got, you know, one there. Sorry, that's identifying the one in the front that I can remember. Got a, one, 23 karat gold cards for that. Next player will be, we got the Honus Wagner, Walter Johnson, Christy Matthewson, all on the same page because I don't have very many of those players. I do have some plain era stuff here with the, with the, uh, not T206, it's the E92, Cross Cola, Tonus Wagner pitching. We got a couple of old uh, tuxedo ad cards there for Walter Johnson, Christy Mathewson, along with the reprint of the the Holy Grail, Tonus Wagner, and then uh, the Topps Chrome, Tonus Wagner there. Those are. All my all the only cards I have for the inaugural class, of 1936. Some of these older cards, older uh, Hall of Fame inductees, I don't have as many cards because obviously I wasn't alive then, and you know I have my that has not been where my focus has been. Um, I've started to click, collect some more of the vintage cards. So the class of 1937 included these guys. 
Nap, La Hoy, Tris Speaker, Cy Young, John McGraw. I only have one card in that in that section at this point, which is a tuxedo tobacco panel for John McGraw. Pretty nice shape. I mean, you look at the back. I mean, they're look like they're they're worn pretty well. They look pretty consistent with what I've seen. However, there's not very many of them out there. So, uh, if anybody else has any of those types of cards or has any more information on those, those are those are ones I've not had been able to find a lot of a lot of stuff on. So then we go to the class of 1938, which I don't have any of. Pete Alexander. Class of 1930, or 1939, we've got Lou Gehrig, George Sisler, Eddie Collins, and Willie Keller, Keeler, sorry. And uh, there's a fourth ballot for, for all those players. Um, I only got a couple in there, and the Lou Gehrig cards. Again, I got one from late, let me look, let's see, a Circle K, 1985. 1985. And then a couple more modern ones, you know, for the Lou Gehrig collection. There were no classes of 1940, 41. And the class of 42 is Rogers Hornsby, which I have not, no cards at all of his at this point. And then there was no classes again from 43, 44, 45, 46. Class of 47, which I have no cards for yet, are Carl Hubble, Frank, Frankie Frisch, Mickey Cochran, and Lefty Grove. Class of 1948 had uh, Herb Pennock and Pi Trainer. I have a, a Herb Pennock card from, oh, let's see what year these were from. I don't remember. Looks like 1991, Sporting News. Class of there was no class of 1949 or 1950, so we move on to the 1951. We've got uh, Mel Ott and Jimmy Fox. And here's the cards for that I have for those players with Mel Ott, Jimmy Fox, Jimmy Fox, Mel Ott. Then we go to the class of 1952, which again I don't have any of, but it was Harry Heilman and Paul Weiner. Class of 1953, also I don't have any of Dizzy Dean or Al Simmons at this point. Class of 1954 had Rabbit, Naranville, Bill Dickey, and Bill Terry. And I have one card on that page, which is a Bill Dickey all-time greats card. The next one would be the class of 1955, which includes Joe DiMaggio, Ted Lyons, Dazzy Vance, and Gabby Hartnett. And if you notice, you know these two here wouldn't even have an opportunity to make the Hall of Fame now with uh, the with the restriction on how many years you can re remain on the ballot. I only got a few cards for that that section. I do, however, have a whole Joe DiMaggio collection of it's sealed in, in uh, the original packaging. It's in my collection room, but I also have you know these couple of DiMaggio ones from more recent times. After the 1955, we go to 1956. Which I have no cards for, which was Hank Greenberg and Joe Cronin. 1957, I don't have any of either, which is Sam Crawford and Joe McCarthy. There's no 58 class. In 1959, I have none of those cards either for Zach Wheat. 1960, there was no class. So 1961, I have no cards for, which was Max Carey and Billy Hamilton. The next class was the 1962 class, which included Bill McKechnie, Ed Roush, Bob Feller, Jackie Robinson. 
he's done over here also you know I, some of them i put you know, if they're a manager or player especially if i wasn't familiar um with with you know what their role in the organizations were but this one here i've got a couple of cards in you got bob feller jackie robinson The next class would be the class of 1963, which I have no cards for, which include John Clarkson, Sam Rice, Elmer Flick, and Epa Rick Rixie. Class of 1964 is Luke Appling, and then there was John Ward, Red Faber, Miller Huggins, Tim Keefe, Heine Minouche, Burley. Grimes. I don't have much in that section, but I do have a Luke Appling and a Miller Huggins. Class of 1965, I don't have any of, which there's just one, which is Pud Galvin. The next class would be the class of 1966, which includes Ted Williams and Casey Stengel. Ted Williams cards here. I really like the the Bowman there in the middle. Probably my favorite one. The Burke Ross is classic as well. Nice looking cards. And there's a couple more more modern Ted Williams cards. The next class will be the class of 1967, which I have nothing for. Red Ruffing, Branch Ricky, Lloyd Wainer. Class of 1968, I don't have any of, which is Joe Medwick, Goose Gosling, and Kiki Kyler. Ky Class of 1969 included Stan Musial, Roy Campanella, Stan Kowalski, and Wade Hoyt. This will be the last class I'm going to do for tonight for this for this video. It includes those cards of Stan Musial that I have. Got a few more modern cards of his and that uh, 53 extension set, which was a really cool set. You know, thanks to you guys for for sending that to me, baseball collector. Blue Jacket 66. Really cool cards. Nice addition. So that's the class of 1968, which is just a couple of Stan Usual cards. And uh, next video, we'll start with the class of 1970. So until then, thanks for checking it out. And we'll see you in the next one.